Hello, Mitt. It's Chris. I just wanted to take a quick moment to uh, create this video. So I um, added a, a page in here, and I'm hoping that we could use this. So we have the home page. We have the how it works, have questions, privacy policy, terms of use, cookies, copyright. I added a checkout page one. And um, just to kind of make it similar to the, the current website, right? And I'll bring you there right now just so you could see. Um, as soon as you hit the enroll button, it opens up this page, which has our reviews down below, which we need to add. Um, but this, this, this here, collecting the customer's name, phone number, email address, this first page, once they click submit, that automatically sends this data into active campaign as well as into charge B. So I, I want to show you what that looks like. So these are our customers, right? And all of the ones that have a trial here. Those are actually customers who paid the one that's blank here. So this customer just submitted their information, but didn't actually fill out the second form, which is where we collect the credit card information. Um, the first checkout, right? And this is the one I just created. So I'm just going to jump into it right now. So you could see, I, I would prefer to have, um, you know, very basic. I have to, we have to put the, the logo here, um, phone number. That's fine. I put a little video here and I want to switch this to uh, to maybe the reviews or if we're able to maybe reorganize this page a bit where we'll be able to have instead of having all of the, the fields that we want on this form on one side, if we're able to kind of spread it out like we have here. Um, if not, it's not a big deal because on mobile, they're all going to be in that in that same order anyhow. And most of my clients are on mobile, but as you can see, get started today for just $19. After that, only not only $69 a month. And first name, last name, phone number, email address, uh, home address, city, state, zip, last for the social, and date of birth. This is all the information that I need. Uh, the other thing I notice is these little icons on the side um, should match. So like phone number, this should be not phone number. This should be uh, a contact looking icon. This should be a phone number and this should be email address, but then this should have a home, 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 home. And then I don't know what we would put for the last four and then for the data and for the date of birth. Then when we press next, um, I'm thinking that maybe we can, we can open up actually the charge B checkout. And I don't know how to really do it here. But uh, I'm sure there's a setting to set action. It only says next step in funnel, which we currently don't have a next step. But I'm thinking we might be able to use the charge B um, integration. I don't love it, but until we could figure out a way to uh, maybe do it differently, this might be the way to go. So here we are, um, the checkout. And so there's an integration. Uh, via drop-in script or via API, which there's an API reference that we could use here. Um, but just to show you what this portal looks like. So this is the preview of the checkout. Now this has some duplicated information. So this will be $69, $19 intro, but as soon as they proceed, it's gonna then ask them for their email address. I don't want them having to put their email address in again, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the demonstration. And um, and now it allows me to, to enter in the rest of my info. So I'm just going to put, you know, because this is the one I was using, uh, my phone number, right? I don't want them to have to put this info in again. It's, a, it's pulling my information from the system. But um, so I, I don't know how we'd work around this. But when I hit start trial, it then is going to bring them to a thank you, you know, and which we'll have to work on. But that's one uh, temporary solution. The the other solution is to once we hit next, maybe land, maybe maybe have this data sent to a. Uh, so it's called a collect.js or a or an or an API. You know, if there's a way to put an API form together like this where we could push the data to charge B as well as active campaign that would be the that would be uh you know the best solution
and then we could continue to use you know this page which is going to be easier for editing and customization and stuff like that um that's it so this one i wanted to just put the testimonials here and uh we could link our you know i'll, I'll do that but this background photo, I also don't know how to change it. Uh, maybe, maybe, may make it match something, or I mean, it's really not that bad. I, I really, really can't see what it is, but um, we're kind of stuck here where we have to put something else, right? I was thinking maybe page one checkout and then page two, which collected credit card data, and maybe you know, there's a way to post that data into. Um, into Chargebee. So customer, customer information comes in, um, and then somehow we have to get it to create a subscription. So, all right, um, let me know if you'd like to discuss. Obviously, I think jumping on a call is probably best. So let me know what your availability is tomorrow. Okay, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.